So we're not, we're not trying to find what x and y are. We're just trying to simplify this expression. All right. So here we have that trinomial there in, in the numerator being divided by this monomial in the de denominator. So what this means is that we really had three fractions to begin with that were being added and subtracted with a common denominator, which is given to us right here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as three different fractions. So we're going to have everything in the numerators. So we still have that 6x to the power of 5y. We got 75x to the power of 4y. That, that's supposed to be 4. And then uh, you could say that's a, mi that's a plus and minus. So minus 24x to the power of 3y squared. And all of this stuff is being divided by the same denominator, which was given here, as 3x to the power of 4y. But it'll be like that for all three of these terms. All right, now we just look at these individually. So for example, it may be good to just kind of ignore all the other stuff and focus on this one term at a time. For example, this 6x to the power 5y so we do 6 divided by 3, which is 2. x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 4 is the same as x to the power of 5 minus 4. So that leaves us with an x to the power of 1, but uh, we don't usually show that 1 right there. And then y divided by y, those just cancel out. So that's our first term, so let's move this over so we can see this next term. And that is going to be added to our 2x. So uh, here first we have 75 divided by 3, which would be, yeah, 25, right? And then we have x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4, so that's x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4, which is x to the power of 4 minus 4. Some of you know that anything divided by itself is 1, so they just kind of cancel out those x to the power of 4s. And the y's also cancel each other out. All right, so moving over, then we have this 24 divided by 3, which is 8. And here we've got x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 4. So let's look at that down here. We've got x to the power of 3 over x to the power of 4. Uh, that's the same as x times x times x. And this is where the rule comes from, right? So here's the problem. If we subtract those, we get a negative power of x, which just means that x is going to stay in the denominator. So we had an x remaining in the denominator. And, you, I mean, you could write x to the power of negative 1, but it's very likely that the book or the homework want you guys to write this only using positive exponents. And then we have y to the power of 2 divided by y. We could say to the power of 1. So one of those y's is going to cancel out. We just have y left over. Or we would have a y left over in the numerator. And of course that was being subtracted from our expression there. So, I mean that's kind of apart from each other. Let me rewrite this thing down here. This is 2x plus 25 minus 8y divided by x.